Let's take a look at these area questions. These are a mixture of calculator and non-calculator. Question number one is a non-calculator question because the numbers are fairly straightforward. Um, so we've been told these are squares, so the side lengths are the same throughout. So the area is five times by five, which is 25 square centimeters. For B, two times two, four square centimeters. C, eight times eight, so that's 64 square centimeters. Question number two, the square below is one hectare in area. So it's a square, so it's 100 by 100. So therefore the area is gonna be 100 times by 100, which is 100 with two zeros. So that is 10,000 meters squared, which is the answer to the first question. So how many hectares is this square? Now we can see it's twice as, uh, twice as big. So you probably think, oh, it must be two hectares, but it, that would be wrong. Um, Let's work out the area in terms of square meters. 200 times by 200, uh, well, two times two is four. We ignored four zeros, so let's just put them back in again. So 200 times 200 is 40,000 square meters, and one hectare is 10,000, so this is four times bigger, so therefore there are four hectares, not two, in, in a 200 by 200 square. Question number three, uh, it's a calculator question, but you probably don't need it for some of the easy ones. So the area is four times three, 12 centimeters squared, five times nine, 45 centimeters squared. You'll probably need it for, uh, for C though. 40 times by 26, which is 1,040 centimeters squared. So farmer A owns a field which is 100 by six. So that is an area of 600 meters squared and we've been told that one sheep needs 25 square meters. So how many 25s go into 600? So 600 divided by 25 is 24. So farmer A can keep 24 sheep. Farmer B's plot is 40 multiplied by 26, which is 1,040 square meters. So how many 25s can we fit in there? Uh, 41.6. So farmer B can keep 41.6 sheep, but that's a ridiculous answer, isn't it? So what we're gonna to have to do is round it down to 41 sheep. Now 41.6 is closer to 42 than 41, but it doesn't matter because we're, we have to round down, because if we call it 42 sheep, that has exceeded the, the safe limit of 25 square meters. 20, 25 times by 42 would take us to um, slightly more than 1,040 and he only has 1,040 square meters available. Question number five, show two ways of splitting this shape into two rectangles. Well, you could split it horizontally here and you can also split it vertically here. So the reason you're splitting it is to separate it into two rectangles. One is five times by 18 and 18 fives are 90. So this part here has an area of 90, and this is three times 25, which is 75. And now what we need to do is just add these two together to get 165 square centimeters. Of course, you can do those calculations on a calculator, it's absolutely fine. Question number six is a calculator question again. So the compound shapes have been broken down into two rectangles. This one's five by seven, which is 35. This is two by, it's not two by nine. We just want this distance here. So if it's nine across the bottom and five from here to here, then this must be four. Two fours are eight. So altogether, uh, 35 plus eight, which is 43 square centimeters. In B, we've got 10 by 10, which is 100. And here we've got seven by, well, it's 14 across the top and 10 from here to here. So this must be four, seven fours are 28. Add these two together, we get 128 millimeters square. In C, we've got seven times 12, that's 84. And this is not nine times 11, this is 11 times whatever this distance here as well. And this distance is 12 minus nine, which is three. Three 11s are 33. Add together the 84 plus the 33 and you get 117 square centimetres. Question seven, again we can use a calculator. 
I'm going to split this into two rectangles here because that way I don't need to figure out any side lengths. This is 15 square centimetres, 5 times 3, and 23 times by 25 is 575 plus the 15, so in total that is 590 square centimetres. Um, on this one here, I'm just going to turn it into uh, two rectangles like this. So I've got a 12 by 15. 12 15s are 180. And here I've got a 5 by, we don't know this side length here, but we know it's 3 plus 12 plus 3, which is 18. And 5 times 18 is 90. 90 plus 180 is 270 square centimetres. C, we've got a nice square here, 6 by 6, so that's 36, and 18 multiplied by 12, which is 216. 216 plus the 36, that's 252 square metres. Question number 8, the area of the watch face, we're told that the watch face is a square, so it's 2 by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 square centimetres, and the area of the strap is 1 times 3 plus another 1 times 3. Well, 1, 3 is 3, so in total that is 6 square centimetres. And if it costs £2.99 per square centimetre, then for 6 square centimetres it's going to be £2.99 multiplied by 6. So let's just put that in pence, 299 times by 6, so we're not worrying about the decimals. 6 times 9 is 54, carry 5. 6 9s are 54, plus 5 is 59, carry 5. 2 6s are 12, 12 plus 5 is 17. So it's 1,794 pence, otherwise known as £17.94. And if you pay with a £20 note, what's your change? Well, it would be 6 pence to take you to £18, and then £2 to take you up to 20 So overall, you would get £2 and 6p change. Question number nine, uh, we want the area of the square part. Well, that's 15 times by 15, which is 225 millimeters squared. One rectangular part is eight by two, which is 16 millimeters squared. So the area of the whole toy is 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 225. And that comes to a total of 273 millimeters squared. So number 10, we are using a calculator here. So we want the area of the triangle. It doesn't really matter that they're equilateral. Um, the formula for the area of a triangle is base times the height divided by two. So it's going to be one multiplied by 0 0.866 divided by two. And that comes to a total of 0 0.433 square centimeters. 10b is 2 times by 1.732 divided by 2 and that comes to 1.732 which seems fairly obvious because if you're multiplying it by 2 and then dividing it by 2 well these two operations cancel each other out. 10c is going to be 40 multiplied by 34.6 divided by 2 and that comes to a total of 692 meters squared. On to the final question. Again, we can use a calculator here. Again, it doesn't matter that they're right angle triangles. Triangles are triangle. The area is base times the height divided by two. So three times by one divided by two. You could probably do this um, in your head. One times three is three. Three divided by two is 1.5 square centimeters. Um, here it's going to be 33 multiplied by 28 and divide that by 2. Uh, that comes to a total of 462 square centimetres. And for C, so the base is 150, the height is 30, divide that by 2, and we can get an answer of 2,250 metres squared. And there is actually, sorry, there was one remaining question, question 12, and uh, I be believe this is an, a non-calculated question. Um, so we want the area of the compound shape. So here we've got a rectangle and a triangle. So eight times one is eight meters squared. And here we've got a triangle, which is two times one. 
So 2 times by 1 divided by 2. Well, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 8 metres squared plus 1 metre squared is 9 metres squared. Uh, on this shape here, we've got uh, a rectangle and two triangles. The area of this rectangle is 1 times 9, which is 9. Here we've got a triangle, which is 12 times by 9, divided by 2. Um, sometimes I rather than doing the dividing at the end, I'll do it now, so it keeps the numbers smaller. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 nines are 54, so this area is 54. And here we've got a 2 by 1, 2 times 1 is 2, divide that by 2 is 1. So 9 plus 1 plus 54 is 10 plus 54, so that is going to be 64 metres squared. And the final question, 12. C, actually no, we, we can use a calculator here, otherwise um, we're using some fairly nasty decimals. So six times six is 36. So this is the uh, area in the, in the middle. And what I've got here is a semicircle and another semicircle. And if I combine them together, I've got a circle with a diameter of six. So if it's got a diameter of six, then the radius is going to be three. So the area is pi r squared. So it's 3.14 multiplied by three multiplied by 3 and 3.14 times by 3 times by 3 equals whatever and then add the 36 on top of it and we get 64.26 square centimetres.